Today I'm gonna show you uh, uh, how to make a how to make a rig for uh, for a uh, uh, for a tube fly. I've done one of these before, but uh, but I was not completely satisfied with the other one, and I've come up with with a smarter, more easy way to do it. So so that's what we're gonna do today. Well, um, first off, uh, you can use either a hook or a hook mounted with uh, with one of these uh, these for for the wriggle tails. I find myself using the wriggle tails more and more, so I prepare my hooks with uh, with simply just um, simply just uh, a small uh, small doubled strand of uh, of titanium wire, as you can see here. Uh, so I simply just uh, simply just loop it and tie it down in in this end where where the the snap for the tail is, and simply just double it and tie it down here on the hook as well. That's the only thing there is here. So and then basically just apply a bit of uh, a bit of uh, a bit of glue, a bit of UV curing glue or something like that. So after that is done, you come up with something uh, looking like this. And of course, if you if you just want to have the hook, you can do it like this. Or if you want to have a stinger hook, you can at attach a stinger hook here. I don't uh, use the stinger hooks myself. Um, I simply do not find it worth the effort sim simply because um, I don't think I I miss or, or not I do not land uh, that uh, many uh, <laughs> that that much less fish. Um, and also, I find that the stinger hook can often be uh, uh, hook the, the the pikes fairly deep, and uh, and this of course is annoying. So I simply I, I've simply made the choice of uh, of perhaps catching a little few a little fewer pikes, but uh, but uh, but I have also have a, a better rate success rate of, of releasing them, and that in my book is is, is worth uh, not catching three or four more pikes a trip simply to uh, to be able to to have a higher success rate of of, uh, of uh, reviving them so what we're going to do here is, is we're just going to put some of this off we're simply just going to do a, a normal a normal perfect perfection loop i make uh, one loop there like that and then simply uh, turn it over across and that if you have trouble with uh, how the perfection loop uh, um, is made. You can click in the corner here, or simply go to Nuts by Grok. He's very, very gifted at, at at making animations for that. But what you basically come out with is something that looks like this. This is a fairly, fairly thick uh, trace, fairly, fairly thick trace, because I wanted to demonstrate this, so it's easier to see. Uh, I use a, I normally use a smaller one. So like that, as you can see here, I have it. So I simply cut off the strand that sticks out like so and it's important to have a bit of trace here um, maybe three millimeters something like that if you can see that three millimeters something like that um, is, is is sufficient so I have my other end here and what I do is I take one of these pro um, very cool uh, pro uh, silicone uh, tube flies uh, tube fly things and and simply attach one of these I just I just thread it on the on the on the trace here with the thick end pointing backwards Okay. Next up is is the second the second perfection loop. This has to be a bit bigger. So I'm making this a bit bigger and when I have made the first loop I simply take my hook and attach it there. Then I make the second loop and and make it go around like so. And what you can do now is if you pull in the right one, the right one when you're sitting here, you can actually pull this loop bigger. And I do that and then I simply just pull the hook through and when once the hook is through the big loop, I simply pull again in in uh, in the other end this end where the other loop is and you can see the loop is tightening like so and so i pull uh, pull on the hook like that and then i get another perfection loop to make sure that this is how it is i just take the pliers here and and pull a bit on on, uh, on the other end as well so the so the the the, the loop lo looks like this um, and then I cut off, cut cut this off again, so it has about three millimeters, something like that, that sticks out, like so. This ensures that it will not go anywhere. Then I simply just take my uh, my pro um, XL uh, uh, tube silicone here and pull it down, pull it down, like so over the hook uh, simply to to kind of fixate it a bit I just need to pull it a bit more like that 
and uh, and there I have it. And uh, and this is basically basically a very very easy way to to make a, a, a tube leader. And what I do is simply take uh, the other end of uh, of the tube here. Here I have a, a fairly big tube uh, tube popper, and I simply take my trace, put it inside the tube here, like that. I'm sorry about that, the camera went out of batteries. So uh, what I was saying is I simply put this in and if this acts a bit up, uh, simply just take your plier and, and help it get through there. But that's normally not a problem. So I simply push this in here all the way through the tube and uh, and of course what you can uh, you, you can do now is, is simply to pull this all the way up as you can see, so so because this tapers, uh, the the silicone uh, tapers, you can simply pull it up to the tube, and it will stay there. It will stay there. It will stay there, fixated, and it will give you uh, some some very good hooking properties. But still, it will have uh, have maneuvering room to simply just jiggle a bit about. But it will it will stay there. So also, if you're fishing where there is a lot of weed and stuff like that, you can simply point your hook up. And, and you won't have any troubles. Also, uh, now that you have attached here, as you can see, the, the, the loop for, for the tail, you can simply take any of your, uh, any of your wriggle tails um, and attach those, uh, whatever you like, a black one or a, or a tan one. These tan ones are pretty good for, for, for loads of flies. Simply just click one there and if you want to replace it, you simply just pull it, pull it uh, the other way and uh, replace it with the gold one. And, uh, and there you have your, your setup. Good to go. A very easy, very effective way of, of rigging a, a tube fly. And of course you simply just attach this loop to loop to, uh, to your monofilament or your flu fluorocarbon, your one and a half meter of, of monofilament or fluorocarbon, whatever you're using. Well, those were the words. Thank you for tuning in.